I think uh, good actors can be good directors, and I think George does a really good job of directing. First of all, he has fun, which is, to me, like if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be here. You should be doing something else for a living. <laughs> George is, is a wonderful director. He's extremely prepared and therefore relaxed. He creates an atmosphere of joy, a joy of telling the story, and it permeates down to everybody. I'm just having a great time. Here we go. Every single person is just in this kind of relaxed state of bliss where they're able to do their job without having to freak out and run all over the place. I'd say that George's take on the tone of it is essential to the accessibility of the story because I think you could easily make this story very sort of leaden and serious. I seem to have stepped on a landmine of some sort. Why did you do something like that? It was a slow day. He's able to keep a lightness on set a buoyancy on set. It makes for a pleasant experience and, you know, actors like that. But he's absolutely aware of the gravitas that's fueling the journey of the Monuments Men. Well, I'm on the wagon. Since when? Nine o'clock this morning. Congratulations. I don't think it's the easiest thing to direct a movie on this scale. We have days with thousands of extras on the set. Most directors that I've worked with could get pretty lost in here. But the minute he gets here, all we see is something that's really great and very inspiring. Down by the shirt. Ah. I feel incredibly honored to be a part of this band for the part that I am. George leads a fantastic ship. He makes it look effortless, let's put it that way. He's got a nice style, it syncs with everyone else. He's one of the best directors working today, without a doubt. Good cut. If you're lucky enough to be in the position that we're in, then you better be having fun, because most people don't get to have that experience. Ooh. I really enjoy what we do. How creative it is, it makes for fun work. <laughs>